a train after traveling 50 kilometers meets with an accident and then proceeds at three fourth of its former speed and arrives at the destination 25 minutes late. Had the accident occurred 24 kilometers behind, it would have reached its destination 35 minutes late. Find the speed and distance traveled by the train. And you can see the options given to you 48 kilometers per hour distance is 110 kilometers, 32 kilometers per hour, per hour 100 kilometers distance, 40 kilometers per hour is the speed, 102 kilometers is the distance and then 30 kilometers per hour and one or two kilometers. Fifth option as usual is none of these, right? Option E is none of these. Now, how do we solve this? Look at this. First, we'll focus on finding out the speed of the train. It says a train had traveled 50 kilometers without any difficulty and then it meets with an accident. So after 50 kilometers, it meets with an accident. And because of this, it has to now move at three fourth of its former speed. Originally, it was running at some speed S, but after the accident, the speed reduced to three fourth of its speed. And hence, it arrives at the destination 25 minutes late. Because of this accident, the speed reduced because of which the time uh, taken to reach the destination increased. Increased by how much? 25 minutes. All right. Then, had the accident occurred 24 kilometers behind, he says, <laughs> if the accident had taken place 24 kilometers behind, see, in the current situation, it, it, it took place after 50 kilometers. But now it says, if the accident had taken place 24 kilometers behind, then it would have reached the destination 35 minutes late. Then it would have reached the destination 35 minutes late. Find the speed and distance traveled by that time. Right. So let us understand this first. Right. Let us assume this is the starting point and this is the uh, destination. All right. And let the distance between these two be D. That's what we need to find out. Right. The speed of the train and the distance between the distance traveled by the train, which is D here. Now, let's say this is the path which the train has to cover. OK. After 50 kilometers, the accident takes place here. So this is 50 kilometers distance and this is D minus 50 kilometers. Yes or no? For the first 50 kilometers, it was running at regular speed S. After the accident, it, it becomes 3 fourth of S. After the accident, the speed reduced to 3 fourth of its former speed. Right? And it took 25 minutes late. It was 25 minutes late. There is another situation where the same uh, starting point in the destination, distance is D. Let's take the path. Where the accident takes place 24 kilometers behind. That means here instead of 50 kilometers, the accident takes place 24 kilometers behind, right? 24 kilometers behind means what? 50 minus 24, 50 minus 24, right? Which is 26 kilometers. How do we get this 26 kilometers? This is 50 minus 24 kilometers, right? The accident, it took place 24 kilometers behind it says. So for 26 kilometers, the train travels at speed S, right? Again, if you, if you overlap with the original uh, accident point, this is what 24 kilometers, right? This is 24 kilometers. But anyway, for the remaining part of the journey, it runs at what speed? Three fourth of the speed, three fourth of the speed. And how much is this distance totally? This is D minus 26. Yes or no? Total distance is D only, but because 26 kilometers was covered at regular speed, D minus 26 was covered at three fourth of the speed, right? Now I think the focus should be on in in this in between these two dotted lines here, if you understand, right? What is the distance of these two dotted lines between these two dotted lines here? These two points. See, in this case, this is the accident point. In this case, here is the accident point. Let's say A dash. Right? Accident point. And here is the accident point A. But we are trying to, you know, understand the distance between these two different accident points. How much will that be? 24 kilometers. Because see, here it is 26. Here it is 50 total. This is total 50. This is 26. So obviously, this distance is how much? 24 kilometers. Yes or no? This is 24 kilometers. Now, if you observe, in the first case, 24 kilometers was covered at what speed? Speed S. In the second case, this 24 kilometers was covered at what speed? 3 fourth of S. And, and you know that overall in this case, the train was delayed by 35 minutes. It got delayed by uh, 35 minutes. It was delayed by 35 minutes. Now see, what's the time difference here? The time difference is 10 minutes. Between these two cases, the time difference is 10 minutes. 10 minutes is the difference. Why this 10 minutes difference comes into picture? Only because of this additional uh, 24 kilometers that we are talking about. See this 24 kilometers behind, right? The accident took loose, the accident took place ad in advance. So it took more time. Now the point is based on this 24 kilometer stretch, you can easily find out the speed, right? If this 24 kilometers is covered at speed S, right? It will be late, laid by 25 minutes. But when 25 minutes late, 
But when the same 24 kilometers is covered at three fourths of the speed, it is late by 35 minutes. So this is what is right. Time difference is 10 minutes. Right. Now <coughs> it is like this. In this case, if you assume that the time taken is t to cover 24 kilometers at speed as the time taken is t, let us assume. So in this case, what happens? Second case to cover the same 24 kilometers at three fourth of this, the time taken will be t plus 10. Why it took 10 minutes more, right? 10 minutes difference. It took 10 minutes more. Now distance covered is same in both the cases, right? The distance covered is same. So I can say speed, since distance covered is same, speed into time, speed into t equals to the new speed, 3 fourth of the speed into t plus 10. Simplify this, s anyway gets cancelled, 4t minus 3t equals to 30. So time taken is equal to 30 minutes, which is equal to half an hour which is equal to half an hour. Now understand, time taken is half an hour for covering how much distance? 24 kilometers. See, 24 kilometers at the original speed s, it takes half an hour, right? So can we find out the speed now? Yes. You know that speed is equal to distance by time. To cover 24 kilometers, it took half an hour. So in one hour, how much will it cover? 48 kilometers. So we can say speed is 48 kilometers per hour. So this part is done. Speed is 48 kilometers. So obviously option B, option C and option D gets eliminated because speeds are 32, 40 and 30 according to these options. Answer should either be option A or option E. So even if you solve half of the problem, you will have a 50-50 chance of getting the right answer. I mean, if you just eliminate the wrong ones there, right? Now, if you don't want to proceed with finding out the distance or you do not know how to find out the distance, what can you do in that case? You can simply uh, mark either option A or option E as the answer. Right? But anyway, let us find out the distance. How do you find out the distance? Take the difference of these two times or, or you can simply consider two cases. See, here in the first case, you know that <coughs> the train was late by 25 minutes. Why was it late by 25 minutes? Because it covered D minus 50 kilometers at 3 fourth of the speed. This D minus 50 kilometers was covered at 3 fourth of the speed. Earlier, this D minus 50 kilometers was covered at speed S. And speed is already known to us, 48 kilometers per hour. Are you able to follow? So only look at this portion now. Originally, in the original case, this D minus 50 kilometers was covered at speed S. The train reached in time T. In the second case, this D minus 50 kilometers was covered at 3 fourth of the speed because accident took place, right? So it, it was covered at 3 fourth of the speed. And the train was late by 25 minutes. So I can say it took 25 minutes more for the train to cover D minus 50 at 3 fourth of the speed. Based on that, you can find out the answer. Are you able to follow? How do we do that? See, like this. Let us assume uh, for covering D minus 50 at speed S, which is 48 kilometers per hour, the train takes time T dash. For covering the same D minus 50 at 3 fourth of the speed, the time taken is T double dash. Now we know that T double dash minus T dash is equal to 25. T double dash minus T dash is equal to 25 minutes. Yes or no? Now, how do you find out t double dash? What is t double dash? Time. Time is equal to distance by speed. What's the distance? d minus 50. It was covered at what speed? 3 fourth of the speed. So, 3 fourth of 36. Right. 3 fourth of s will be equal to what? 3 by 4 into 14, which comes out to be 36 kilometers per hour. Right. So, I can say d minus 50 by 36 minus of same d minus 50 when it was covered at original speed. What is that? 48 kilometers per hour is equal to time difference is 25 minutes. But 25 minutes has to be converted to hours. So 25 by 60. This is the equation. Solve for D. Yes or no? Only one unknown value here, D. So when you simplify this using 60 as the LCM or maybe you can cancel it out, right? This is 12 into 3, this is 12 into 4 and this is 12 into 5. Again, 5 goes 5 times. So basically D minus 50 by 3 minus D minus 50 by 4 equals to 5. Simplify this, you will get the distance as 110 kilometers and that's your answer. So speed is 48, distance is 110 kilometers, option A would be the answer, right? Option A would be the answer.